Hey guys, it's me, Casey, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Road to Survival. I really did actually enjoy playing this the first time. I'm still very, very new at it, but I do like the concept of basically being in Woodbury and having to just collect everything and build everything and fight. But what I think I'm actually going to do in terms of continuing on is the mission, and more specifically, Home Mart. Right here, I'm up to stage four, so let's jump into this. Bad news, we're surrounded. Well, that's not good. And they got guns, too. So it says, this shows the trait that the enemies in this battle will have, or will have, plan your team accordingly. These indicate the types of challenges you'll find in this battle. These can include choke points, dividers, and large mobs. Get info on the challenges by tapping on the trace button. Fantastic. So let's see, this is going to come in handy for me a lot because I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. So we'll start with a tough. Each trait does extra damage to another trait. Get to know your traits. So toughness, alert, strong, and fast. Alert deals extra damage to strong. I see, okay, so it's kind of in a, a clockwise thing. So toughness will counter alert, alert will counter strongness. Challenges, let's see. We've got area damage. Be, pre uh, be prepared to have enemies that will damage multiple characters at once. I've done that before with some of my fighting. It's like the precision shooting and stuff, but I don't know if that's the same thing. Ooh, buffs. Be prepared to have enemies who will increase the power of themselves and their teammates. Obstacles will limit strong and fast character attacks, but also funnel enemies together. And lastly, be prepared to deal with effects that make it hard to fight back. I see. Oh, it keeps going. Dividers. Obstacles will limit strong and fast characters, blah, blah, blah. Healing. Be prepared to have enemies that heal their teammates. Large mobs, no challenges. Powerful enemies, which are more powerful than normal enemies, are present here. I see. Alright, so, enemies with a fast trait will appear here, defeat them with strong characteristics. So the strong characteristic would be Garrett, he's got that strong thing going on. Now how do I actually look at all my other characters? Oh here we go. I was looking for it, I'm like how the hell do I switch it, there we go. So I'm a little confused, it says enemies, like, so is this the next one in line? Are the enemies going to be this character, the symbol? Like, I, I'm a little bit confused about that. Because to, to counter that would be the strong one, so I would have to take Glenn and swap him with somebody else, say, maybe Lucia, I would say. So I, I, I'm i sorry this, this might be wrong, but I'm assuming that's what that means. So if I'm wrong, you guys will obviously let me know. All right, so. Let's go with the closest ones. I'm doing some research, man. I've been doing some research. You start with the closest enemies first. Bam! Oh, she's not dead yet? There we go. Oh, my goodness. You've taken damage. Tap the battle I items icon. Tap to select an item to use. This one heals, sub cause damage. I don't need this crap. Oh, do I have no choice? So you have to apply the item to the teammate. So it's not teammate, it's only teammate. So I'll do... Awesome. Different battle items have different effects, try them all. Okay. So who's closest, I guess? I don't know. You. <gasps> Goodbye, you're dead. And we'll go with you. Ooh, he doesn't do very good. That's it. We, we easily got this. Death. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did it. Wave cleared. Some survivors came out of hiding. Okay. Let's see, we'll start with you first. And 
Bam. So this rush thing looks like it's like a special thing. Let's see what happens. Doesn't work, why not? Oh. Maybe that's for the next turn. My goodness, calm yourself. Mighty swing. Hey, nice. I'm cool with that. Ooh, I'm killing it. Don't need to do the rush, I don't think. Not yet, huh? Flurry of blows. That's okay. They're still alive. Awesome. Wave cleared. Okay, so you've saved uh, one survivor from a wave of zombies. Oh, we got a boss. Huh. Okay, this is interesting. I've never come across a boss before. Let's do a rush. Kneecap. And we'll do the rush for this. Beautiful. Let's take out this boss, man. The big boss man. Oh my goodness. Let's take out the boss. Your toasties. Nice. Victory! I did it! Alright, so we got Berserker Powder, we got a Walker Arm, Work Gloves, eth Ethanol, Pump Action Shotgun, Wrinkled Shirt, and Blood Plasma. Alright, you didn't find any characters. Whoa, they did not want to go down easily. Hey, Zambi KC, we got some, we got a live one over here. What are we gonna do with them? I think even an eye for an eye is a good idea. They killed Mitchell and will kill us if we let them go. Jim put him up to it. I don't want any part of this. What about you, Zambi KC? Let's see. They did kill Mitchell in the first episode. I was not expecting that, so you can die too. That's cold, but I agree. It's true, though. Because I remember in the actual show, Rick, who tries to be the leader of the, of the group, he'd always be, like, too, you know, too nice. And it ended up biting him in the butt. So he's developed this whole thing where it's like, you follow the, wheels, the rules, and if you don't, well, too bad, basically. So I'm trying to be Rick, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Barker calmly pulls the sidearm and fires a single round into each head of the surviving members of Jim's group. No emotion, no glee, glee just a job being done. Exactly. Now we've got, to we've got a generator to find, or that's what Gavin will do to us. You're sick, Barker. Oh, I love it. Someone's gotta be. Alright, let's go to stage 5. Later they emerge from the store, gun, gunny sacks full of ammo, supplies, and the generator. Oh, there's Jim, man. Hold it right there. You should have kept running, Jim. So we've got the the faster trait. I think it's the fast trait. The fast trait, and we've also got the alert trait. So toughness will counter that. So I think I'm pretty much on par. Okay, you know what? I think this will be okay. I think this will be good. So it appears that they're all fast for now. The good thing about this is that the health regenerates after each stage. That would be pretty tricky if it didn't. Oh. Alright, so that person's dead. It's okay, we're still doing alright. Man, Lucia is awfully weak. No. Uh, we got this. So I'm gonna save up my rushes for the later waves. 
Okay, so we've got one survivor. We're gonna hold off. No. So they're gone. Man, if Lucia could just actually like do some damage, that would be great. Goodbye, you toasties. Nope, still going. <laughs> Flew your blows. Oh man, that's not good. That is not good. That is not good. I'm gonna have to heal. Okay, so what's gonna happen with the survivor? Alert trait is strong against uh, strong trait, but weak to tough trait. All right. We got a boss. I gotta heal, man. Oh, can I not heal? Uh, maybe I can't. Okay, well we got a whole bunch of rushes. So this is really gonna come in handy. So we'll go, we'll go with the toughness because, well, obviously. Come on, come on. Did okay, someone I guess. Kneecap. All right, good. Come on. Ooh, this isn't good at all. Okay, um... Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Alicia. She is so weak, but she at least was able to take out that person. Don't die on me! Oh man, Barker ain't doing good at all. But I don't think I can heal that I can see. Unless I don't know what the option is, but... Right, let me think about this for a second. Okay, I used my stronger attack on that because I know Lucia sucks. Oh, don't die! Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Beautiful, so we've got wrinkled shirts. Crude bronze, empty bottle, and a blood plasma. No characters. New area unlocked. Woodbury Gate. Oh. No time to celebrate. Let's just get out of here while we can. I agree. Shit. When it rains, it fucking pours. We got a double time to back into town. What's wrong? Just heard from Gabe. On the walkie, Gavin's in trouble with those new people. Sounds bad. Alright, so welcome to Home Mart. Headed back to Woodbury. We got 50 coins, 90, and 2600 materials. Hey, I reached level 3. Awesome. Alright, so before I go back to this, we're gonna head back to my town. Hold on, what is this? Join a faction. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, so we're back in my town. Out of storage. Okay, so we got to do some upgrading here. We have got the town hall. I don't know if it's similar to like other games where you should kind of upgrade everything around it first before you upgrade the town hall. I don't know for sure. So we got the houses. Do I have a house here at all? I have one house built, I think. <laughs> this one. I've got one house. Oh no. As a Mac George of four people, how do I know how many people I have? I have 18 people, I think, on the top. So clearly, I need more houses. What happens if I upgrade this? It goes up to six. Town hall requirement to upgrade 3,200. Alright, that's gonna take an hour to do. Oh, okay. I thought this was actually a house as well, but it's just a dilapidate, dilapidated structure which you can actually turn into something else, it looks like. Either food storage, material storage, or upgrade the town hall to build more houses. I think. So I clicked that exclamation mark. It's great that you are bringing in more survivors to the town. We can train them to join you when you battle. Oh, a training ground! 
This makeshift training area helps develop survivors into hardened, battle-ready teammates. That is awesome. A small farm that provides residents with food, I need that as well. Why not do both? Alright, we'll do the training ground first. And we'll train them. So training survivors work the same way as crafting battle items in the workshop. First, research, then train. Okay. Requirement 2500, I have 12,500 in the top left corner, so let's do it. No, I don't want to skip it. No! I, I want to keep my coins. Ah! Alright. Alright, so that's gonna do that. Skip wait, I don't want to skip the wait! No! That's so stupid. Whoa. Oh, I got Krista. Nice. That's it. More soldiers to fight and protect our way of life. Beautiful. So, do I even have a farm? I don't even know. Where's my farm if I have one? Do I seriously not even have a farm? Like, how the hell am I supposed to, like, feed my, my people? It's not good. Oh, hold on. So we got another exclamation mark that I clicked. Sometimes you need an extra edge in battle. Battle items can be used to heal your team or do some extra damage to enemies. Here's how to craft them. Thank you. I really needed to heal in that last wave there. Workshop. Okay, beautiful. Let's do that. Alright, so tap to learn how to use the crafting. Research. Do I have to skip it again? I really don't want to. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So I'll get... Replenish times 10, which are, I think, those drinks or whatever. Okay. Time to craft them. Alright. So I think I just learned it. Now I have to craft them. You can queue up multiple battle items to craft by tapping on the plus sign. Awesome. Oh, do I actually have to skip this as well? No, I don't have to. Nice work. You can use this to heal a teammate in battle, upgrade your workshop to craft other types of items. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I gotta get a farm, man. I don't think I see a farm here. Am I just that blind? No. No. Are these all the same things? I think they are. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, let's... Let's see. Alright, let's build a farm, man. We gotta build a farm. And... I... Did I do it? Yes, I did it. Okay. You don't have enough storage to hold additional... food. Build more food storages to increase capacity. There we go. So what does this storage look like? Oh, there we go. I am pretty sure I don't have one of these down yet. No, I don't. Max storage is 2,500. Okay. So now this should work. Did, did I accidentally delete the actual building when I went salvage? Is that what that means? That I actually destroyed it? I think I actually did that by mistake. <laughs> Oops, I, so I don't want to do salvage, man. I want to collect. There we go. Alright, so I think I'm actually going to stop it here for now. I think I did pretty good, honestly. Hopefully. I think I've been figuring out everything with the missions and the traits and everything. In the next part, I will be starting the new mission at the gates. And I've been doing stuff with the farms and the food storage and just trying to make sure I do all the stuff. Making sure probably not to do the salvage anymore, because that was incredibly stupid of me. But let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what I can improve on. Let me know if there's anything that I should be doing moving forward. That would really, really help me as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you would really love to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. That would be super duper awesome, amazing. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on more of the Walking Dead Road to Survival. Bye bye, guys.